How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We're in the washroom today and Julie's dryer quit working and she's giving me a rough time. I don't want to hear it. She is giving me a rough time. So what I'm going to do is we're going to check the heating element in the dryer and see if we can either get it replaced or we're going to replace the dryer. One or the other. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and uh, let you see what's going on. Alright, first thing you want to do is get your dryer pulled out away from the wall and you got a whole bunch of bolts in the back of this thing. You just got to get them all out. Remove the big panel. Okay, once you get your back off, this is where your heating element is going to be. Your heating element is right here. It's on the bottom. This top piece up here, this is a fuse up here on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap a picture of the wires on the top. And then I'm going to snap a picture of the wires on the bottom. Now when I go to put this together I'll know exactly where these wires go. This is for my fuse. And down here is for my heating element. So we're going to take the wires off everything. That kind of gives us like a, a blueprint of where the wires are going to go. These can be a bit tricky getting off. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take this bottom pan off. There's actually a bolt right here and a bolt on this side here. Just two. Two little metal bolts. If it wasn't broke, I probably broke it now. So now I gotta get this wire here off. They don't make it easy. Okay, there's our heating element right there. Set that up there for me, Jewel. So what I'm going to do is, I got the uh, heating element out. Now I'm going to take the fuse out. I don't know that I can test the fuse to see if it's any good. But I do know that I can test that heating element. Oh, yeah. It's broke, Kevin. Is right it here. broke? Right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's burnt. Do you want to show? Yeah, right there it's broke. So Julie's already found it. I was going to clean it up. <laughs> wipe it out. It's I'm dusty. just curious. Let's see. Did I break it when I took it off? I don't know. That's the whole thing. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know now that you dropped it. Well, let's see how brittle it is. If it's real brittle. It doesn't seem like they are. Yeah. They still feel pretty strong. I don't see how that one would have broke just by that little fall, but. Well, let's see. Can you guys see that? It's right just a big spring, a, like. Like a big spring. So Julie's gonna go get this replaced. She's gonna go down and pick me up one at uh, a place that they sell these things, and uh, we're gonna get it put back in. But what did he say about the fuse? Did we need to bring the fuse to? Well, we're gonna we're gonna have him just test the fuse. He's not gonna charge us anything to test it, to check it, to make sure it's okay. So why not let him go ahead and check it anyhow? We know we need the heating Is this element. The fuse? Yeah. We know we need the heating element, so okay. just she'll go ahead and pick that up. We'll put it back in. And we'll see if we can get it. They said it's about there. sixty bucks. Yeah, they said about sixty bucks. And and like I said, right now. Cheaper than buying a whole new dryer. <laughs> yeah, right now we don't want to pay the out for the whole new dryer. Uh, and while we're in here, we're gonna clean this guy up, make sure it's all. Okay. We want to try to get all the dust and stuff well, out we get can. Him so I can get that. Okay. All right. There's a wet okay, rag. Okay. Well, right Julie's there. going after the heating element for this thing. I'm going to go ahead and, and start cleaning this guy. And one of the main places you get a lot of um, 
lint is in this tube right here and that's the tube that it's called the lint catcher this big long tube is the lint catcher and a lot of times I haven't got this apart yet but I have taken the bolts out there's four little bolts one here one there one there and one there and then up on the top there's two more I yet to take out I'll show you where they're at they go right down in here where the lint catcher goes down in so what I'm gonna do is see if I can do this we're gonna get these two bolts out and this big thing should actually come out for me just getting my screwdriver set up here so we're gonna take this bolt out a little screw these are just metal screws in there anyhow so get this one out well, I'm sorry about not having a bunch of light, but we are in the laundry room here trying to do the best that we can. Now that we got the two top screws out and the four bottom ones, this thing should come out of here. Okay, as you can see, right in here is a bunch of lint, and I'm going to knock this down from the top, and that's all lint inside of this, all this stuff right here. See, this is all stuff that we want to get out of here. This is what starts usually starts your fire in your house, so we're going to clean this out real good and get rid of it, and wipe all this down in here, and then... Uh, by that time Julie should be back with the heating element we're gonna get it put in I do apologize for everything here we're just doing the best we can because we're in real tight quarters back here now there's actually let me show you here now there's a gasket that goes around this I'm sure some of that gasket is going to come off, but we don't want to pull the gasket off of there. I want to keep as much of that gasket as I can, but I want to get all the lint that I can off of there. So, this is all going to have to be brushed down. Now, we're not going to be replacing that gasket. You can see some of the gasket stayed on here. We're just going to leave it on there. Because when we put this thing back together... It's going to be right where it needs to be anyhow. So I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to go to the garage, get a brush so I can clean all this lint off of here. And clean all that out of there. You can see that's not good to have in there. And we're going to brush out this down in here. And we're going to wipe all the pipes out so this air is going to flow real nice. And hopefully this guy will work okay for Julie. If it don't, we just have to get another dryer. Hopefully I didn't break that when I dropped it. So you can see the lint. You want to try to get all this lint out of here. Now it's not like people come back here and clean your dryer every day, you know? At least we don't, so. All right, I'll get you guys back in here in just a moment. Okay, I went out and got me some stuff here to work with. I got me a just an empty shopping bag. I got a vacuum cleaner. Just a little shop back here. We got a rag, damp rag, with a little bit of water. Now, we're not going to be putting water on none of this stuff. We're just going to brush this off, and I'm only going to use this to wipe the inside of the pipes and the outside where there's a bunch of heavy dust. If whatever the vacuum don't pick up. So, first of all, I want to get this stuff in this inside of here picked out. I don't want that in there, that's for sure. What we can't get out, we we'll use the vacuum cleaner. We pick up what we can, and what we can't, we'll get the vacuum cleaner out and get it cleaned up. Like I said, I apologize for everything here. We're in such tight corners, quarters here. Everything is super tight in here.
Okay, that should get the biggest part of that out of there. The, the garbage that we don't want in there. That should have done a pretty good job. Now I'm just going to take a rag and we're going to wipe this off. But I want to make sure any gasket that was on there, I don't want to clean that gasket off. I want to keep it. Now you probably could get that gasket replaced if you wanted. But I'm just going to wipe out the inside of this pipe because that damp rag, that's going to get that lint cleaned out of there really good. We got a little bucket of water. We're going to just rinse our rag out. <clears throat> you know, the back of these dryers can get pretty messy because it's not something you do every day. You're not going to get in here and clean it. Basically, you're only going to clean it when you have a problem with it. So, by that time, it's pretty dirty inside. Yeah, they're pretty dirty. They get lint all over them inside and out and everything else. So, But <clears throat> I'm hoping that this thing works okay. And, you know, uh, I'm pretty, I was pretty positive that it was the heating element when uh, we uh, first started this because Julie had the, the dryer on and all and it was running, but there just was no heat. So with no heat, you can't dry. You can't dry nothing without heat. You gotta have heat. So hopefully we can get this guy all cleaned up here. And I'm doing the outside of the pipe and everything. Just wiping it down. Just getting it cleaned up enough. And this didn't have to be done, but this is something I would do anyhow if I was gonna tear it apart. You might as well clean that out. So now we got this guy cleaned out. I'm just gonna set him up to the side there. And I'm going to wipe these fins off. I'm just going to clean up these fins in here. These fins are what is sucking that air out. And if they're clean, they're going to work better. Okay, now that's the whole vent. We got the whole vent wiped off real good. It looks pretty nice there, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to fight this guy back in here. Shouldn't be too bad. Just going to wipe off a little bit around here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this guy back in here. Sometimes this stuff can be a little tricky. You just, you just have to have a little patience. Don't forget, it came out of there. It's got to go back in there. Have patience. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here on the top and we're going to go ahead and put the screws in this first. Remember we took these screws out? So I'm going to pick this up, get these in here first. The screwdriver is already up here. Now there was only four in this, so. Sometimes they can be a little tricky to get in there, especially if you got big fingers. One more go in this guy and then we're done. Might get it back in there. Okay, that thing is nice and clean. So we don't have to worry about that for a long, long time. All right. Now let's see what else we can get into here. Okay, now we're just going to take that damp rag and wipe everything down real good in here. Make sure we get all the dust and everything out of here. This is my tube that goes outside. I want to make sure all this lint is out of this guy too. 
We're gonna clean it. Let's clean it right. I'd say we got a good bit of that out of there. Man, it's a whole lot better than what it was. Definitely a whole lot better than what it was. It was packed in there pretty tight. You can see it looks better now than what it did. So, we're going to go ahead and stick this guy back on. Actually, I better get my rag here. Yeah, that looks better. That looks much better. Okay, Julie's back. She's got our new uh, heating element. And uh, our little fuse was good. So we're okay there. And uh, the heating element was clearly not right. It's broke. So we got the new heating element. And uh, don't forget now, remember, if we have any trouble, any questions about how anything came apart, don't forget, remember, we took pictures. So now we have pictures to put all of our wires back in. We shouldn't have any problem hooking these wires up. There's only five wires hooking this thing up. Actually pretty simple. So what we're going to do is the first one is we're going to put this back in. And uh, actually I had a question myself and I come back to my picture is which, which way was this flipped? Because there's two holes in here and I noticed this is on the bottom so now I know exactly where it goes. And it's nice to have the pictures. So we're going to go ahead and get this piece put back in. <clears throat> and it goes right up there. Right here. So it only took one bolt to put this in. We had one bolt and two wires. So we're just going to slide that hole, that one in the hole back there. And put this screw right here in. And then we're just going to put our two wires back on. The one goes, it's looped up this way, goes in the top. The one that comes down this way, it goes in the bottom. And that was on mine, but I took a picture, so I knew exactly where they went. So now we're going to work on the heating element. We'll get our new heating element out of here. Okay, brand new heating element. This guy should last us for quite a few years. Should be all back to new again. So we're going to go ahead and get it back in. And it's going to go. Try to get my camera in here so you guys can all watch. And there's just two screws to hold this guy in. I'm going to have to put you in the back just a little bit. I apologize for that, but... Okay, uh, two screws, one on each side. But now I think there is a slot that this goes in. You're going to pick this up like this, slide it up inside, and push it down. Like so. See, you want to push it up in like this. There's a bump here. You'll push it up in there. Make sure it lines up with your holes. And go ahead and put your screws in.
Okay, both of our screws are in. Now, don't forget, if we want to come back and we want to see where our wires went, we have a picture that tells us exactly where our wires went. So, should be no problem hooking these back up. Okay, we're good to go. This guy is all back together. All we got to do is hook our hose down here on. We got our hose hooked back on, and then we're going to be uh, hopefully drying clothes again. All I got to do is throw the back on this guy. Okay, no use in let, putting it back dirty, so you wipe your pan off. And no, Kevin doesn't do all the cleaning around here. He's just trying to pretend like he does. No, <laughs> I'm just not gonna put it back dirty and I don't want you down in here. <laughs> all right, Julie's gonna throw some clothes in the dryer. Those old work clothes. <laughs> all my old work clothes. Them good, pretty clothes are all ripped up I do videos with. <laughs> the best clothes I got right there. dryer sheet if it was still in there or not. Alright, let's give her a try. Hopefully it will work this time. Okay. Look at that. We'll be able to tell how much heat is on here. I got my trusty little tester here. If we test the top of this, it's at 71 degrees. You see it's at 71. So we're going to give it just a little bit and then we'll check the top of that. Probably not going to take much if it's heating. Oh, it's just, it's just take a couple minutes. Um, hopefully this works and Julie got her washer back uh, to normal. Or dryer, I'm sorry. Dryer. You guys know me. I say all the wrong words. That's why I should have named my channel that. The wrong word. Oh. See if she's going up in there. We're at 72 degrees already. So I know that that thing, it's went up. Yeah, it's went up one degree already, just the top of that dryer. So we're definitely back in business. Test it again. 72.5. Oh, what was last time? I think I did it at 72. It's still at 72.5. Sure and it may not warm up that much. And I'll tell you something. If you guys are out there and you fill the top of your dryer, and it's super, super hot. Uh, one thing that could be wrong there is that hose that we cleaned out maybe just might be plugged up. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think that thing gets real hot on the outside. No. no. Uh, so. I mean, fairly warm, honestly. It may, it may be that your pipe is plugged up. Now we cleaned this and you guys seen me clean the pipe and everything. So this may stay a lot cooler than it used to. So, uh, you know, if you fill the top of your dryer and it's really, really hot. Yeah, it could cause it, a fire. Oh, yeah, it could cause a fire or anything. Check this again. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get cold. See, we're up to, we're up to 75.5 right now. This thing went up quite a few degrees. Yeah. I'm just basically, I'm going to stop this dryer because you guys are not going to have anything to test yours with. And if you peel your hand in there, and uh, I'll show you, that thing is super hot inside there. Uh, that's 101 degrees inside. That's the back wall, 101 degrees. So we know Julie is back in business and her dryer is fixed. 
Okay, I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching. The dryer is fixed. Julie's in back in business. Uh, I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, a comment if you like. Don't forget, click that little bell down there on your right to make sure you get them alerts when I put up another video. Till next time.